Hi, I'm Bonnie Browning with the American Quilter Society. And you know, one of my favorite jobs is when I get to interview the winners. And today I'm here with Pat Holly, who won Best in Show here at AQS Quilt Week in Grand Rapids. Pat, what a beautiful quilt. Oh, Bonnie, I'm so excited. <laughs> You know, when you get that phone call, I just you just can't believe it. And it's especially wonderful for me to win this award in Grand Rapids because I used to live right around here. And so a lot, I mean, one of the guilds that I belong to, the West Michigan Quilt Guild is here in Grand Rapids. And I'm just so happy to be in West Michigan. Well, and you know what? We always find it fun, too, when someone from the area wins an award. Yeah. Um, because that means we're getting some good entries from this area. Yes, yes. yes. And we did. There are quite a few members that are oh. quite a few winners from Michigan oh, this year. That so is, That's just great. Yep. But I noticed a lot of quilts from outside the country too. So AQS is doing a great job of getting the word out to enter these shows. Yes, we had winners from Germany, Australia, the Netherlands, Japan and Brazil, five different countries. Wow. Well, six U.S. Uh, well, and actually, I think it was 26 states that's, that that's, were winners. So that's, that's huge. Yeah. yeah, we're just covering the whole world, that's aren't we? So great. Well, and that's like my quilt is about a wonderful trip I took to another place in this world. Well, tell us about it. So, tell us the origin of the design first. So this quilt is called Saffron Splendor, and naming quilts is always tricky, but. Um, I had taken a trip to India about five years ago and took maybe 4,000 images of all the wonderful inspirations on the temples and the textiles and wood carvings all around India. So I knew I had to use those ideas for a quilt. And I started this quilt and first I went through all of my pictures and sort of pulled out the ones that really jumped out at me and said, okay, these are the ones I'm going to use to design. And my technique, I do a drawing for every, everything that's up there. And then from the drawing, I, I create the pieces. Okay, and you, you have applicated by machine, correct? Actually, the whole quilt is put together by applique. There's no piecing in this. So the different areas are joined together with applique. Wow. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who have machines with a lot of decorative stitches on it, you need to look at this very closely because she's used a, a large number of different designs as background right. stitches. So what I like to do is I'm actually creating my own fabric. So this quilt is all silk fabric that I have backed with a, inner, with a fusible interfacing so it's stabilized and then I draw guidelines and then have just have so much fun with all those decorative stitches to create a pattern on the background and then I put my applique pieces on top of that. So people will look and say well what came first? So the decorative stitches come first and then the applique goes on top and then it's machine applique down. And so then tell me where where the quilting is. Where did so, you quilt it? Well, when there's so much applique that first I just outline all the applique with free motion quilting. And then I usually just use those decorative stitches as kind of a guideline to make go in between the stitches. So I don't really do a lot of marking for quilting. And so you've just done some fillers then around yes, those, right. those applique pieces. And something like pieces. in this area, that was a band. So that, that I did some little decorative quilting in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the choice of colors, you must have a wonderful collection of silk. You know, I, I've been very lucky that I can find manufactured silk. I don't, I'm not into dyeing my own silk, um, so I've been able to find the colors that I want to use, but that is a challenge to get the, the, the kind of silk. Silk, there's a lot of different types of silk, um, so getting the color and the kind of silk that I want for my quilts. And I have to make sure, like this gold background, I want to make sure I had a big enough piece that I could have enough for that border. Well, now another thing you used on this quilt was you used some trim pieces, didn't yes. you? Yes, well, I've, I've said that, you know, first we collect fabric, then we collected thread, and now I collect trims. And it's really fun to hunt for those kind of small, narrow trims that will just add the right little touch to this. So these, these trims are stitched on after the pieces are sewn together. Okay. It's kind of zigzagged or top stitched. And the whole edge, I, I asked how did you do the edge yes, and you said, oh yeah. no, it's a trim. Yeah, so this is a yes. trim, a gold trim that's kind of inserted between two pieces of fabric, which that's a technique that if you think about it, 
You could insert anything. You could insert piping. There's, oh, there's a lot of it's a lot of. So that great becomes ways. your edge treatment, yes. then, doesn't yes. it? You yeah. just fold one forward and yep. one back, and then and then it's finished in the back like a regular. You can stitch it down. Well, oh, the other thing I added on this, which I think it needed because of the subject, it was about India, which is a sparkly, exuberant country. I found little tiny sequins, and those are all sewn on by hand. So I didn't. There's not the crystals. There's little sequins, really? and I found it. You know, I went on the internet and looked for tiny sequins. Tiny sequins. You know what? We can find anything today, can't we? <laughs> you, know, you sure can. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful quilt and certainly worthy of best of show here at, at Grand Rapids. And uh, congratulations, Pat. Oh. And we just can't wait till we see your next quilt. Do you want to know a little hint? Yes. In 2012, my daughter and I took a trip to Turkey. Oh my gosh. I've been there. What a fabulous country. So that's all I'll say. Uh huh. It's so coming. we can look for something with a little Turkish influence, I bet. Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks. And we hope that you'll enter your quilts because you could be sitting in this chair for the next interview.